Let's sketch all, <clears throat> all the modulus functions you need to know for your A-levels in it. So I've got all the different types that they could possibly ask you. But first, they've given us this quadratic and they just want us to sketch the quadratic. So to sketch any old quadratic, we also need to show the coordinates of the turning point and the intersection with the axes. Um, might as well find the roots. You can already see there's no plus C, right? Meaning that it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis at the same place, zero, okay? So just doing that bit quickly, let's just make y equals zero. We get four x minus x squared. Factorize out the x, four minus x. So you can clearly see that the roots are x equals zero, x equals four. Now in terms of our turning point, obviously there's different ways you guys can do this, but once you've found the roots for a quadratic, it's symmetrical about the roots, right? So it starts at x equals two. And we just sub it in, y will be four times two minus two squared, which is eight minus four, which is four. So doing our lovely sketch, yes, yeah, crossing there and there. And there we go. It does say in the question to indicate all intersections with the coordinate axes and um, the turning point. So part B, they have a modulus around the whole thing. So just to help us understand, I'm gonna let y equal f of x, okay? Now, you can see here, they want us to sketch, so this modulus will be modulus f of x, okay? So the modulus of four x minus x squared is the modulus of f of x. So what transformation is that? This transformation where the modulus is around the whole thing is it's saying anything that's negative, make it positive. Because remember, f of x are our outputs. Those are our y values. If we put a modulus around it, we're saying all negative y values become positive, okay? And all positive y values, nothing happens. So if we look at the OG graph, what happens to this part? Nothing. Because you can only really see, even at the turning point, the y value is positive. So all this section, y is positive. And this section, y is negative. So it's going to kind of look like a W shape. So this part is going to reflect up. This part reflect up. So I don't need to do it that large. It's going to look like this. Okay. So this is still 0. This is still 4. And this is still 2, 4. All right. What about part B? Uh, sorry, part C. Now, part C is actually an interesting one because you can see that there is a modulus around the x only, all right? Now this is actually f mod x, okay? Now let's just take a look at what f mod x would be. So over here, uh, where's my f of x? Here. f of mod x means x has changed to mod x. So it would look like this, 4 mod x minus mod x squared, all right? But examiners can be cheeky here. When you square a modulus, nothing happens, yeah? Because when you modulus a negative number, it makes it positive anyway, all right? So squaring a modulus actually does nothing, yeah? We can just uh, leave it as x squared, all right? If we want to, all right? And that's where they're being cheeky here. Yeah, they've not put it there because they don't have to, all right? So all we're doing here is we're sketching f of modulus x. Now, what is that transformation? That transformation is all positive x values get reflected into the negative side because you're, you're modulusing the negative x values. Meaning over here, can you see where x is negative? So here, x is negative. If you take x is minus one and put it into here, the modulus of minus one is one, okay? So you're actually doing f of one, yeah? So f, of minus 1 is the same as f of 1. f of minus 2 is the same as f of 2. Okay? So all of these negative sides are just the exact same as the positive side. So this section here gets reflected to the other side. It's going to look like an M shape. Okay? So say you have 2. f of 2 is 4, right? 2, 4. And here where you have minus 2, yeah, when you sub in minus 2 into here, you get an f of 2 as well. So these two have the exact same value, okay? So minus 2, 4, they asked you to indicate that. 
this is 4, remember, here we have 0, and here is minus 4, because when you sub in minus 4, f of minus 4 is just the same as f of 4. Yeah, 4 modulus minus 4 is 4 times 4, minus, then here, mod, minus 4 squared is just 16, and it didn't matter if I had a modulus sign there or not. Okay, so there you go. Then finally, what happens when we have this, which is this, and put a modulus around it? The exact same thing. All this negative side is just going to reflect up, reflect up. Okay, so it's going to come down, M, up. All right, so it's going to come down, boom, boom, up. All right, this is still my minus 4. This here is minus 2, 4. Here is still 2, 4. And here we have 4, and that is 0. And that looks good to me. And these are, these are all the different types of transformations specifically to do with modulus that they can ask in your exam. So guys, if you learned something today, if you saw a different graph that you've not seen before, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe for more maths content. If you want to join the Learn Gang Reddit page and submit your own questions, link is in the description. And if you're interested in my A-level maths courses, details are also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.